time last time. I remember what we got up to. We were in the park last time, weren't we? We couldn't go to the car park. Uh, yeah. Do you remember what we were doing? Yeah, uh, pulling off and stopping. Yeah, good. And recover what we did the first week. Excellent. So that will generally be the case. We'll generally go over what we've done from the previous lesson yeah. and then just add to it. So yeah, we were moving off away from the curb. Um, the, the, the original plan was to go into the car park and do some steering and gear changing. All right, so that's what potentially we're gonna do today. I'm just gonna find out from you what you think. Going back to the moving off from the curb, remember the reference point that we were giving you to get back to the curb when you were close enough to you remember what we were talking about so look straight ahead look straight ahead good that was to get straight really good but how did you know when you were actually close enough to the curb where, where would you see the curb in your windscreen in the middle of the screen in the middle brilliant okay so we might do a little bit with that today we can sort of like replicate that with um, the lines in the car park to where we're going to go. So we can have a little practice of that today. There's going to be less traffic again today because I'm really trying, if possible, to go back over the stuff that we should really have dealt with last time but yeah. couldn't because Liverpool were playing and they were letting in the car park early. So what we were trying to do last time was some gear changing and some steering. I know we did a little bit of steering um, away from and towards the curb, which um, you coped with really well as well. No, wor no worries with that, but that actual um, act of steering, big steers and going around corners and turning and straightening up, we weren't able to really cover last time. Do you think that's something that we should try and have a little go at today? Yeah. Okay, sounds good. Obviously gear changes is the next progression and the next step, so um, we'll try and have a little go at that. But the same things are going to apply with your feet. Um, remember what we were saying about moving the car off, what we were saying about how you use the clutch, how do you use the clutch when you're moving the car off? Put it all the way down. All the way down first, yeah good. And then once you've got it in gear and you're actually moving away, how were we? Travel the car's worth and then let go. Uh, very good. Okay, superb. Um, so you, you remembered all that stuff. And we'll just have a little look and see what's going on when we get to the car park. Is that okay? Yeah. Wish <laughs> Ow! <laughs> Bang me head. It's not a good start. Uh, before you go, seatbelt. What should you do? The chair. <laughs> the chair, good. Is there anything else about that cockpit drill? What are those letters? Let's go through them. Doors. Doors, how do you check that? That button. Go for it. Good. And then, why is it important to sort out your... The arc of your neck. Okay, so it's not a massive big deal, but just get used to doing things in that Fair, order. Yeah. All right, sound, so go on. So I'm so used to doing it. Like sort your seat work. out. Can sit this down a little. <laughs> Did you just fall back there? <laughs> Amazing. Oh dear. Um, I totally struggle with it. Oh, right. So the height. Let me help you a little bit. So that handle on the right hand side. Yeah. The one at the front. Hold the steering wheel. And what, what? you're actually getting the right thing. Uh, yeah. There's two handles at the side of the seat. It's not the one on the front cor corner. Yeah. It's the one at the front, just at the side. Hold. Two at the side. Uh, yeah, the one at the front of okay. the two on the side. Hold the steering wheel, pull the handle up. What you're trying to do is sort of like move you, not that way, you're moving your hips that way. Okay. It's not that way, it's that way you're trying to move your hips. So move, <laughs> sort of like hop off the seat. There you go, there you go, that's all oh. you do. <laughs> Sounds, we've found a little way that you suss that out and that's, that's cool. If there's ever anything that you struggle with, just Bear with us and we'll work through it and we'll sort it. There's no problems. All right, so that's good. Are you at the correct height though, Erin? Yeah. Yeah, eyes about in the middle. Or do you think you could go maybe a little taller? I think you could go a little taller. So hold the wheel again. 
And don't forget, when you do that, it's just going to go down. So hop off the seat up. Don't push back into your seat. That's it. Lean forward. And then push with your legs. There you go. All the way up. There you go. Sorted. That's better. All right. Do you think you've got that technique of moving these seats up a little bit better now? Yeah. Let's go forward and go up. Super. So we're okay with that. That's sound. Um, I must admit they are particularly awkward in this car, so <laughs> there's no worries. All right, that was quite a comical start, me banging my head and me falling back <laughs> off the seat. That was quite good. I like that. Um, all right, so a height's okay. What's the next part of the seat that you should be doing? Is it the, if you're up or down, or is it the whip away from the steering wheel? Uh, not away from the steering wheel, away from the pedals. So it's oh. that forward backwards of the bottom part. Do you remember where the, uh, where the lever is? Here. Left hand side, right down at the floor. So hold the wheel with your other hand as well. Yeah. There you go. Good. Go on, lift that handle up and slide yourself where you need to be. How do you check you're in the correct so spot? You can go down without your leg. Go on then. The wrong pedal. That's okay, that's the that's the one. Can you press it all the way to the floor comfortably? Or are you stretching a little bit at the very end? Stretching. So go forward a little touch. Good, nice positive reaction, good. Um, then, what part of the seat could we deal with? The way it goes up and down. Could, um, yeah, no problem. I tend to check the head restraint at okay. this point because then this back part of the seat is then in relation to the distance from the steering wheel. So, is your head restraint okay? Could go down a little bit. I don't think it'll go down. I think you're fine, that's all good. Um, so that's fine. Um, and then you can get the back part of the seat, which is that other handle that you fell back with before. <laughs> so tell me how you're getting that you don't feel comfortable, okay? Or, or did you say so you feel comfortable? Couldn't hear you there. So I don't feel comfortable. That's fine. Good move it then. Perfect. When, when you do, let me know. Yeah. Excellent. So you're comfortable with that part of the seat, but um, how is your position away from the steering wheel? Pardon? How is your position away from the steering wheel? Is it close? Is it too close? How do you check? Do you remember? Too close, I reckon. I can't get around comfortably. Like Super. That. Okay, so what do you do to fix that? Do you really move back? No, you actually move the steering wheel. Okay. And that's with this lever. Good, go on, go for it. Is it up or down? Try both. There's you up, there's you go, not a problem. Good. Yeah, sound. Is that better? Do you feel as though you can get your hands all the way round? I think that's probably better a little further, but make sure it's not affecting your legs as well. Feel okay? Yeah, when this bit goes off. Good, very good. I can't see the start buttons on this shoe. No, not at all. Okay. All right, I the can see all the dials. All the dials, perfect, so you've done well with that. Good, and lock it back into place. Nice job, so we're okay there. Yeah, good, well done. Now what? Seatbelt. Good, go for it. Mirrors. All good, mirrors, great. Well done for checking that seatbelt, make sure it's all straight and not twisted. Very good. What mirror first, this one? Do you think it matters? Not necessarily, it's just stopped. Doesn't really. All right, as long as you do all of them, you're fine. So, uh, let's go. Well, done. well remembered. Yeah, you're looking forward. That's lovely. That's really good. Great, you remembered. Why is it important to just maybe hold the wheel with your right hand and look forward? Because you're bending your body that way. Very good. Well remembered. What are you looking for to get that one sorted? So if you can see all three of the back things. Yeah, the headrests. Yeah, good. Um, top and bottom of the back window first. Can you see that? Yeah. Good, well done. And which one of the head restraints on the back seat should you be able to see more of? My side. Can you? Yeah. How's your mirror then? Okay. Super. Good. Um, side mirrors? How do you work them? How do you operate them? This down here. Good, well done. What hand should you be using? This one. My left. No, not really, because then you'll be again leaning across. You should right. really use your right hand for that, if possible. All right, so which one are you going to go for first? Now sit and look forward, up the car park again, Aaron, and then just glance. 
that's better. Notice it's that natural lean across that we're trying to get rid of there. Good. And then the height wise, remember those houses in the background through the, uh, the, the hedges that are behind us? Yeah. You shouldn't be able to see really the, the top row of windows and the roof if you can. So we'll move it down until where that road is. You should be able to see, but not loads above it. I can't see the bush. I can't see past the bush, but I can see cars in there. Bit. Good, well done. Do you feel as though you can move that mirror down any and still be able to see where those cars yeah. are? So, do so. Is that about max? About as much as you could move it down? So you shouldn't be able to necessarily see the top of the bus if the bus has just gone past. I can't see any of the bus. <laughs> okay, it's quite difficult because the bush is in the way. We can always leave them and go back to them in a mo once we get moving. Okay. All right, so get them approximately right. Good, how do you work the one on the, oh, you, you, yeah, you're gonna work the one on the left. If you wanna go back to that one, you can, you know, it's not a problem. I just don't know because of the bush. I can uh, kind of see a car parked behind it, and okay. I can see the front of it and the top of it. Okay, so, you put, so it should be all right, shouldn't it? Good. This one to the left, what's this looking like? Those cars that are parked in front of those houses in the distance. Focus at them to get the mirror sorted rather than our car. You feel as though you could move that mirror down any and still see where those cars are? Yep. I reckon I can just see the top of the van now. Okay. Happy? Mm -hmm. Sounds good. Does it matter what way this is facing? No, some cars do have a a, a neutral position in the middle so that switch won't be to the left or to the right it'll just be in the middle so if you were to knock the button just by mistake it wouldn't move your mirrors this car hasn't so it doesn't really matter all right super do you remember what checks you need to make before you start the engine is there any people around that's before you actually move off it's a good thought but handbrake good is that handbrake on secure enough yeah well done what is else in neutral good well remembered Super. And could you start the car for me? Hmm. Didn't start. Why? What have we got to do in this car to to start the car properly? Have to press any pedals? Clutch. Good. Go on up. Give it a press. <coughs> then you can press your start button once again. We're good. All right with that? Yeah. Now. When I was driving out, it was a little bit um, misted up on the back window. And I pressed this button. That's the rear demister. This one here? Yeah, okay. good. So, um, state the obvious, is that on or off at the moment? On. Have a look in your mirror, do you need that on? No. What do you think you should do then? Excellent, no problems. All right, um, it just saves the actual. Um, What's this one? Good. There, if you want to go on to talk about them, what they do, they uh, tell you where you would like the air to be blown. Okay. So you can sit up, you can sort of like so circle that's for the passenger it. side. That's it? my side, correct. And that's your side. You get the the choice of uh, on your feet, windscreen and feet, windscreen only, windscreen and face, face only, or all three. Okay. You get the choice of the windscreen as well because you're the chief, you're the, pi okay. you're the pilot, all right? Uh, but that should be okay. If you do need to um, change the temperature, that one's your side okay. and that one's my side, so I can do my own, but you change that as and how you see fit. These two buttons here are the fans up and down. Which one do you think makes it go faster and more? Pretty, ob pretty obvious, isn't it? Okay, super. So we're okay with that. Um, what I think we should try and do, just for the first little bit, is just have a, a go at moving off. Yeah. Um, we're just going to drive up towards um, this driving instructor car a little bit further up. Um, we're not going to go too close to them in case they're reversing. Uh, I don't think they are with them doing what they were doing before, but we'll just head straight up there, have a little stop, and then see what we need to do. All right, I'd just like to just see what you can remember. Do you feel as though you need any help to actually move the car off? Is there any little process or um, any part of the process that you want help with? I want to try myself. Brilliant. But if I forget things. Let me know. Of course. I don't remember how to stop. <laughs> Cover your eyes and hope for the best. <laughs> no. um, all right, we'll quickly go through that then. Once you're driving and going down the road, to stop is really simple. We 
we're going to get into a habit of checking the mirrors to see who's behind and then we'll come off the gas what will the car then do go to the idle speed idle speed we'll cover the brake and cover the clutch Brake just cover them put your feet over them and then if we need to go slower than idle speed we need to press the clutch fully down that was one of the little bits that we had a I wouldn't say issues with but I had to remind you of quite heavily last time yeah yeah so the clutch goes fully down and then you usually brake lightly until we come to a stop okay so you'll be on the clutch pedal so off the off, the, off gas. the gas cover the braking clutch cover the braking clutch clutch goes down down and use the brake use gently the brake. until okay. we stop and then once we've stopped we secure it all up again before we take your feet off the pedals okay all right would you like me to remind you a couple of bits about that section? Do you think you could maybe move it off yourself and I help you with all of that, with that last little bit? So to go off, you make sure you can get touch your brake and accelerator. And Good. Same for Why not? Let's just go through the process as we do it. Go okay. On. So clutch all the way down. Good, go for it. Very good. Well done. You're checking your foot out. Well done. All the way down, yeah, good. Find the bike point. Will you be able to find the bike without a gear? No, in first gear. Brilliant, well done. Nice job. So, yeah, so you can do as you were doing with your foot, that's perfect. There's that bike, feet still. And how do we make sure it's safe in a car park, do you think? Check the mirrors. Good. Do you think uh, this driving instructor is going to cause you any little issue? Yeah. Is it clear after he's gone past? Yeah. So maybe keep your feet still just for a little moment. If it was going to take any longer, we would have saved the clutch and pressed it down again, but we're okay after him. Is there any other places apart from right, left, and in the mirrors that you check? In front? Yeah, good. Hold the steering wheel, hold your handbrake as well, so we're ready to release it. <coughs> what your blind spots? Right, the one behind me as well. Is anyone walking a dog or anything? No. no? Are we good to go? Is anyone yeah. about? Is risk zero? Yeah. Good. Release your handbrake. Right. This is what I struggle with. So Lift. Up. Button. Button. Down. Good. Ooh. Clutch down a little bit. Good. Why are we moving? Brake and stop. Brake and stop. Brake. Good. It's only because the other learner was coming. Very well listened. Why was I moving if I wasn't on the... You were just at the bite. Oh, okay. Okay, and you had a little bit of gas. That was fine. Now we're on a hill again. We've got to put the handbrake on again. <coughs> Good. Well done. Let go of your thumb at the top. There you go. You did that really well. Excellent. Hold the handbrake again so we're ready. Now... Can I take my foot off the brake? You can. Set the gas now. Now we're going to be ready to go again. Get your feet just about ready. And remember, find that bite again. Try not to look at it, Aaron. So, yeah. That sounds good. Yeah. And what do you do with your clutch? There it is. Feet still. Okay. Now have a little look around. Shoulders, side to side. Shoulders. Uh, can we go before him? I think you can. You know. Have a look at him. See what he's doing now. No, I'd wait. Okay. See what he's doing. Is he going round yet? Indicator. Yeah. So that's all fine. Nice job. So have a little look around the car park. There's a little bit of movement to the left, the van. Anyone else an issue? No. And where's the other places we check before we go? Blind spot. Anyone walking dogs behind us? No. We're good to go? Yeah. Clear ahead. Go on, release your handbrake then. Well done. Now, a little bit of gas. This one's fine. Don't worry. Use a little bit more bite, just a touch. Good. And slowly feed that in and head straight up or that down. Uh, yeah, just head. Uh, slowly feed the power in by lifting the clutch more. And then we've travelled the car length. So what do we do with the clutch? Good. Squeeze your gas a little bit. Nice job. Just come to the left a little bit because you're drifting over to the right. Squeeze your gas a little bit more. Now we're going to slow down. So anyone behind us? Anyone behind us? Oh, no. No? Off the gas, cover your brake, cover your clutch. Just cover them. Yeah. What do you do? Clutch First, you down. Clutch down. And then use your brake lightly and smoothly. Feet still and then secure it back up again. Well done. When do you let go of your thumb? At, at the top. top. You sort of like lift yeah. it up, let go of the pressure and then let go of the button. Can I take my feet off like that? No. Okay. There's one more thing that you need to do. Well done. Because now it's not in gear. When you lift that clutch, it's not going to want to go anywhere, anywhere forward. Okay. Well done. Good job. How did you find that? Okay. Okay. Move the car off quite nicely. How do you feel as though 
um, you coped with our first little move, then stop again, and then go again. Uh, how do you felt you, you did with all of that? A bit nervous. A bit nervous, okay. Um, what are you nervous of? I don't know. I don't know, right. It's the just dangers. Sorry. The dangers, okay. Um, why do you think then I got you to do a little stop that first time? So I wasn't nervous, like, so I wasn't the brunt of it when I first started moving? That, well, there was a car coming from left-hand side, yeah. wasn't there? And it was heading towards the area that we were wishing to use. Mm -hmm. So it's a simple um, thought process, to be honest. If risk is bigger, what do we do with our speed? Well, we slow it down. And if you're in doubt, what do you do? You stop. stop. Okay, so have that in mind all the time, that that ability to stop is always there. And all you do, you literally come off the gas, Brake a little bit until you're idle. Press the clutch, and then finish you your brake and stop. Break a little bit first. This is a bit that we're going to go on to. Okay. Notice um, what we did just then was we came off the gas first, and then the car slowed a little bit to idle. Mm -hmm. If you're faster than idle, you can slow a little bit first with the brake pedal. Get it to idle, then press the clutch. Okay. All right. So. That process is done by listening as you're slowing down as well. So mm -hmm. we're, we're going to have a good go at this today. All right. So that's pretty good. Well done. I think um, what we'll push on to now is a little bit of steering. We're going to make use of the um, car park where we are to do a little bit of steering. We're going to have a, a little practice at steering round in figures of eights. All right. We're going to go one way. We're going to go the other. Okay. okay. Now we'll get the car off and moving. Um, we'll get to idle speed and then we'll just have a little go at steering around one way and steering around the other. Okay. All right. Um, I don't know which way we're going to go yet. I'm just going to assess everything. Uh, one of my instructors over there to the right, you've got a blue one. You've got cars over your right shoulder. It's a pretty busy morning in the car park. You've got loads of part ones to the left as well. So we'll assess it as we go. We'll probably head. Which direction do you think on, on the little look round that you've just done? Where do you think you should maybe be doing your first steer? Which is the lower risk? Um, <clears throat> I would say to the right. Yeah, and quite sharp so we don't go forward into that road section. <laughs> yeah? Yeah. Onto it? Yeah. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to have a little move off, um, get the car moving, and then head around to the right hand side. Okay? Good. So, um, what do you do to get the car prepped and ready? Um, uh, see if that's in neutral and the handbrake's on. Do you need to do that because the car's actually going? If you look at your dials and the rev counter to the right hand side, it says it's ready. Okay. So it's only on the stop start system at the minute. If you press your clutch down, <coughs> what's the car going to do? Start again. Try. There we go. So we're ready to put it into... First gear. Good. Well done. Excellent. And Find then, the bike. Yeah. Uh, what, do you, what pedal do you use first, though? What, what do we want to hear first? Yeah, we we'll want to hear that little bit of power. Good. And keep that power and find that little bit of bite. Nice job. There it is. Feet dead still now. And then how do you make sure it's safe? Check. Now you've got a little bit too much bite. I think you've just lifted up a tiny fraction more. So just push the clutch down a little bit. So as soon as it finds that bite, in other words, in this car, as soon as you feel it pull on the handbrake or you hear that engine note change, keep your feet still. We don't want too much bite because then it's gonna surge away with us. Okay. So that sound, if you wish to try it again, press the clutch down, good. A little set of the gas. You need the gas to be able to then hear when it's at the bite. Okay. Lift and listen. There. Feet still. Don't move it anymore, because if you lift it up too much, it's going to surge away. That's good. Hold the handbrake so we're ready. And then how do you ensure there's no risk? What have you got to do? Well done. Check everywhere. Excellent. Are we good to go? Yeah, release your handbrake. Lift before the bump. Did very well. Now, a little bit more gas. A little bit more bite and then hold your feet still when the car moves so lift it up the left foot oh, little hold it there hold there now stay around to the right hand side for me keep steering steer a little more now bring the clutch all the way up and come off the pedals off all the pedals try and head up there and straighten up now stay back 
Okay, notice we've gone way past straight. Yeah. Okay, I'll explain that to you in a little moment. Just come off all the pedals. I'm off all the pedals. I'm checking it's clear, so you don't have to worry too much about cars around. That's my job. All right, all I'd like you to do is have a little go at steering in a moment to full left lock. So we're going to steer around, looking this way to as oh, much as steer around to the left. Don't stare at them. Look this way. Okay, now try and pass your hands around. Keep it on full left lock, that's fine. And rather than actually crossing your hands, don't worry about us driving around in a circle, <laughs> I'd like you to actually try and slide your hands around the outside. And we're going to try to the right hand side now. Start steering to the right. Good. Now try and slide your hands. Slide them up and down the sides rather than taking them off. That's better. Good, you get the idea. Excellent. Now try and do the same thing to the left. Try and slide them around the outsides. Good, go on, up and down, right, round the outsides, rather than taking them off. Notice that hand's just taking off and grabbing again, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, try and actually slide them up and down. So have a go to the right again. Go on, up and down, one to the other. Use both, go on, one to the other, down with the right. Okay, I'll try and help you. Clutch down and just gently brake to a stop. Clutch down. Gently brake to a start. Feet still. Good. Secure your car up. Good. Let go of your button at the top because you've let go. Of the I've let go. That's so, it's so it's so, no. So it's not on strong enough. All right. So lift slightly and press the button in. No. Yeah. Lift up stronger. Let go of your thumb at the top. Now let go of the pressure. Better. Keep your feet still. What do we need to do with this? Good. And then what do you do with your feet? Take off the pedal. Nice job. All right. Good. So what have you found out about the steering? What have you discovered there? Can't grasp, not take my hand off it. Okay. Um, most of the time, the reason for that, sorry, I'm just turning my just temperature sorry. down a little bit. If you want to turn yours down, you feel free, whatever is comfortable for you. It's not a problem. Most of the time, and it's the same with your situation, it's because people hold the wheel. Okay. Okay. That initial mindset is, I must hold the wheel to be able to steer. How many hands do the steering? Mm. Two. No, they don't. One hand does the steering. Let me explain to you. Okay. As you're steering, one hand pulls down and the other one slides and is loose. Okay. So what I'm trying to get you to do, and you can just practice this now, just while we're sat here, is to slide your hands from the bottom of the wheel, slide them both up to the top and don't move the wheel, and slide them both down to the bottom. Come on. And do that a bit quicker now. Good. Come on. Top to the bottom. Come on. A bit quicker. Come on. Now slow that movement down. Now speed it up again. Come on. Faster. 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 Okay. Good. Down. Now slower. Okay. Super. Relax. Relax your hands. Take your hands away from the wheel. So that's the motion that your hands follow on the wheel okay so do you understand when i was saying about sliding your hands up and down the sides mm -hmm. okay what often happens is and you were doing it a little bit that you'll hold the wheel with this hand and you feel i've got to hold the wheel that's what your brain's telling you to do and you do this you grab with this one pull down as you let go of this then you grab again so you can let go and then go and grab it at the top but actually what happens with the wheel is this. You hold, you hold, you let go, it's steering, then it, stops. then it stops while you put your hand back on the other side. The technique of the pull push is better because it continually moves your steering wheel. All right, and it's hard to grasp. I don't want you to think too much about it. What I'd like you to concentrate on is remember to move your hands up and down the sides and slide them. Try and have as loose a grip as you can. And the other little thing is to look towards where you would like to go. So if we're going to head to the left, where should you be looking? To the left. To the left. And if you want to go to the right, you look, to, look to the right. right. And then we'll have a little go at straightening up two certain things that we need to straighten up to in a moment. All right? It's very good. Any questions yourself? No. No? I could get, I've got a um, steering wheel in the boot that I could possibly use to show you, but I don't think you're quite at that level. I think that you should be able to sort this out 
reasonably quite quick. So we're just going to have another little practice, if that's all right with you. Mm -hmm. Okay, is there anything else that you'd like me to explain before we get going? No. No? Okay, well done. Um, you were quicker at getting stopped then as well, which was good. Sorted. Um, so to stop it, clutch down, mm -hmm. and then slowly on the brake. Use your brake. Gently. Okay, sound. All right. So... Um, what we're going to do is have another little go at starting off. Um, do you feel as though you can sort that out for me? Yeah. What way would we go? Okay. I think we'll probably head round to the left because yeah. if you look in your left mirror, there's more once space. there's more space. And Good. There's that pull there. Okay. Um, <laughs> try not to focus at things because you actually okay. you actually did that with the van. You know when the van was coming out before, you looked at the van rather than looking at where you would like to, to go. go. So try not to look at the hazard. Try and think about risk and what's best to do with risk and okay. where you would like to head. All right? Okay. Good shout, though. Do you feel as though you can get the car set and ready to move? Yeah, your feet are ready. Well done. Happy? Yeah. Good. Do you need to check in your mirrors yet? No. Because if you are checking to see when it's clear to go, by the time you've then got your feet ready... It's going to change. It's going to change. Yeah. So remember, prepare first, then do your observations then move. P-O-M. Prepare, then observe, then move. Okay, so get prepped first. Well done. Yeah, clutch down. Super. What do you do with the gear? Wicked. Well done. What do you do with your feet? Because we are uphill, aren't we? Find the bike point. What pedals do you press first? Gas. Uh-huh. Super. Good. And keep the gas set. And remember, you listen for that bite. There it is. Good. Feet still. Good. Hold. Try not to dip it below too much though, that's good. Hold the handbrake so you're ready. And then how do you ensure it's safe? Are we good? Yes. Okay, would you like to go? Well done with the handbrake. Oh, clutch down a little bit. It's only because you had too much bite, that's what I was saying about surging okay. before. Lift the clutch a little. Good. And this van's coming this way, we're at our okay. Oh, oh clutch all the way off and off all the pedals. And have a go at steering round to the left. All of the pedals? Yes. Okay, okay no problem. <laughs> you press the clutch back where we shouldn't have done. Okay. Makes sense. Put your handbrake back on again. Now, take your handbrake off. How do you put it on properly? Up and then. Button in first. Buy them first. Then up lift, at the top. Lift tight, let go of your thumb, then let go of the pressure. Getting it. Okay, good. Now, press the clutch down. The car should restart. All the way down? Yep. Out of gear. Keep the clutch down. You, you're lifting it back up. When we say clutch down... Keep it down. Keep it down. All right, take it out of gear. The car will pop into life. Put it back into first gear, and then we would be ready to go. All right? That's okay. Take it out of gear now. Just want to have a little think about that last situation. Just relax. Okay, relax your feet. So... When we were getting going, we lifted the clutch up a little bit too much at the bite, and the car surged away. Okay. Didn't it? Yeah. Yeah? Think about what we're saying about that bite. If you squeeze a little bit of gas and just find a little tiny touch of bite, the moment that it's at the bite, keep your feet still. We don't want too much bite so it surges. Okay. Because there's too much drive going forward. So the perfect amount of bite is when you set the gas and lift the clutch and it's when you first hear the engine note just drop a little and then keep it still and then you know it's not going to zoom away with you all right and it was just that zoom away that put you off a little bit wasn't it all right do you understand why it did that now yeah okay super when you got the car actually going i'd said take your feet off all the pedals and you just pushed the clutch pedal back down. When you'd pushed it back down, you'd pushed it to the floor. Because we were uphill, the car slowed very slow, quite quickly, and then you just launched the clutch back up again. Okay, if we were moving and had momentum, you could take your foot off the clutch quite comfortably. Okay, but because we were really, really slow, you then had to start it off again. So what did you really need to do with the clutch at that point? Feed it back in slowly. Make sense? Mm -hmm. Are you following? Mm -hmm. You get where I'm coming from. 
So there's no issues with that whatsoever, it's totally fine, all right? The good thing about when things like that happen is that you learn from them, all right? So the slower the car is, the slower you lift that clutch and feed the power in, okay? So we'll have a little practice now at finding the correct amount of bite. Are you okay with that release of the handbrake? Releasing it, yeah. Are you okay with putting it back on? So to release it, it's buttoning, is it buttoning first? Press your foot brake, give it a squeeze, not with your left foot. My foot brake? What? Your brake. Yeah, I my brake. Not with your left foot, that's it, give your brake a squeeze. So we would be stopped, have a little go at taking the handbrake off, so you lift slightly, button in, and then down. Good. To so put it back on, button in, lift tight, let go of your thumb at the top, then let go of the pressure. You've got so it. It's always button in first. Yeah, you should. It doesn't really matter too much for me. Good. Good, but notice you've let go of the pressure again before you've let go of your button, that handbrake's not on tight enough. So what you're actually doing, you're lifting up tight and then letting it down then, before you're letting go of the button. Okay. That button needs to be released all the way up at the top. So, now that's it. Let go of your thumb, then let go of the pressure. Got it. Now relax your brake pedal. Make sense? All right, super. Now, what we're gonna do, because these um, kids and people are in front of us is I'm gonna actually get the car off and moving okay. and I'm gonna give you a little opportunity to do some steering and then we'll stop again and then we'll find the correct amount of bite. We'll have a little practice of that. Okay. All right, so in fact, they're moving now. We're all right, you can do it. So, clutch down. Good, what gear do you pick? Well done, set the gas. Keep the sound. Now, the correct amount of bite is the moment that that engine revs drop, you've let the revs go yourself. You've got to keep that constant. Try not to look at it though, Erin, remember, listen. Keep the gas constant, a little more than that. Good, now lift the clutch until you hear that drop slightly. there, feet still, don't move them, perfect. Hold the handbrake and do a check around and ensure that it's clear, absolutely everywhere. Is it clear behind me? Because there could be cars coming this way. No, there's a silver one. After the silver one's gone, we're gonna do another check again. Good, happy? Yeah, we're good, we're gonna head around mm -hmm. to the left. So release your handbrake. Good, car's lovely. Lift a tiny little bit more clutch. Hold, steer round to the left now. Clutch down a little bit, down, steer more. Keep your hands moving, don't worry about how you do it. Come on, head across this way. Now the car's moving, you can slowly lift the clutch all the way up. Steer back the other way, doesn't matter how you do it. Clutch all the way up and off the pedals, well done. That was better. No pedals now, just stay straight. So remember that action of your hands around the side. Not yet, just stay straight, just listen a sec. When we're steering, we're going to look over to the left and steer around this way and try and slide your hands around. So have a little look this side. That other car's fine. Good. Start to steer around to the left for me. Come on, steer a little bit more. Good. Excellent. Now steer back the other way and try and go straight. But try and loosen your grip. Try not to hold. Because you're holding, it's not steering. All right? That's all good. Well done. Have another little go at around to the left. There's no one here. Slide your hands up and down, loosen your grip. That's better. Well done, Aaron. Keep them going now. Keep them going to full lock. Good. Now, do the same to full right lock. Have a go. Up and down the sides. Go on. Relax your grip. Good. Don't grab as much. Use both of them. That right hand's not moving. Better. Now move them round to the left. Do the same. Up and down. Down the sides. Better. Good. You're getting quicker at it, aren't you? Well done. Now head around to the right in the same way. Go on, both of them, don't grip. That one's not working. Look at that right hand up and down the sides, of both of them. Good, take your time. Head around to the left now, go on. Up and down the sides, of both of them. Well done, you're getting there. Both of them, 
both of them. Up and down the sides, good. Got to use both. Now round to the right, both of them. Go on, up and down the sides. You're not using that right one very well. That's a bit better now. Now that's good. Now what I'd like you to do is steer round to the left for me and just head down the car park. Look to the left, Aaron. Go on, move your hands, keep moving them. That right hand grabs. Good, now steer back to the right and straighten up, down the car park. I wanna show you something. Touch your gas a little bit now and go a little faster. Squeeze your gas a little bit, a little bit more, a bit more, a bit more. Now, come off the gas and gently brake for a bit until we're at idle. Now press the clutch. Keep braking. Smooth though, try not to look down. Okay, now feet still and secure it up again. Well done. Good. Good. Now relax your feet. Now give yourself a little clap. Okay. What have you discovered with that steering? That I am rubbish at moving my right hand. <laughs> your right hand <laughs> is your saviour, isn't it? That's the one that wants to grip all the time. Alright. Do you understand in theory what I'm talking about? The yeah. Yeah. You have to keep your hands loose. I do understand. And you have to keep them going down the side. But it's sort of like My in... hands are that dead sweaty as well. It's like so much harder. Eee. Right. <laughs> I'm going to prove you wrong. People always say this. Here's me and my hand sanitizer again. Any excuse to get my grubby <laughs> hand sanitizer out. So your hands are dead sweaty. Yeah. And I've got a blob of hand sanitizer. Would you say, can you see that over my hands? Yeah. Yeah. Now, they're wetter than yours. Yeah. I can still slide them, okay. and that's only so, hand. That's only hand sanitizer. Okay, well. So people say my hands are all sweaty. I can't. I can't slide them around the wheel. Load of rubbish. Just in my head. It's only because you're gripping too tight. Okay. Okay. So that um, sliding up, sliding down, sliding up, sliding down is the key to doing this properly. All right. We're still not totally clued in yet to um, looking towards where we want to go. However you're improving massively and we've got to take it in steps that you're comfortable with now just for example i know sometimes people think um, well i sort of can steer you imagine if you can't steer properly and we take you out of that gate onto the road how's your anxiety going to be <laughs> it's going to be colossal isn't it <laughs> all right so working at this in this car park in the way that we need or the way that we are doing is really needed all right we've got to try and master this as best we can before we then venture out so we're going to just proceed with this a little bit more i'd like you to just draw your attention back to what i did as we came and we were going downhill just before we stopped there what was different about what i got you to do there compared to what we were stopping like the previous times i put more gas down Good, so we went faster. You heard the engine note a little, a little higher, a little, a little louder. And what did it get you to do first before you pressed the clutch? The brake. Good. Do you now understand where I'm coming from? Where we press the clutch at idle speed, but if we're higher than idle speed, we can use the brake a little bit so. first before we get to idle yeah. and then press it. Yeah. Okay. That's really important, and I'm going to show you why. This is my little toy car. I'm laughing at my toy car. When the clutch goes down, your car has no drive going forward. And the opposite of that, it's got no effect of being held back. Okay. Mm -hmm. When you're in gear, and the car's going and you're driving and the clutch is up, the engine actually holds you back a little. If you press the clutch, that effect of being held back goes away and your car turns into a great big skateboard. It goes like this. Okay. So if it was downhill, it just gets faster and faster and faster. If you go for the clutch when we've just explained, you get the maximum effect of the engine slowing you down first before it then goes to that it's running away period. If you press your clutch too early, it's something called coasting, which makes your car sort of like do this everywhere. I watched that video. You watched that video? Good. Well done. So what we're trying to do is just listen for when to declutch all the time or press the clutch down. So okay. you do use your ears a lot already when we're 
um, teaching you these these basics if you like we're getting you to listen for the amount of gas we just said about listening for the correct amount of bite I'm gonna go back to that in a second we're listening for when to declutch and effectively we'll be listening for when to change gear I don't think we're gonna change gear today I'm gonna to concentrate on the steering okay all right um, but this listening skill is very 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 important all right any questions with any of that? What do you mean by listening when to declutch? Press the clutch down. Don't worry, we're going to go in a minute anyway. It's just the car starting up again yeah. because of the stop start. Declutching is pressing the clutch down. Good question. Okay. So if we're at idle speed, we need to press it straight away. Mm -hmm. But if we're faster than idle, we slow down a little bit first with the brake until it gets to idle to then press it. And that's done with our ears. Super. We're going to have a little drive off again and we're going to do some um, steering and straightening now all right <coughs> we're going to do a u-turn down the bottom <laughs> and then head up the car park and try and straighten facing up the car park in between some of these bay lines so we're going to treat these bay lines like a little road okay all right and we're going to go round and then straighten up up to the top when you go round round where uh, it doesn't matter, just um, turning enough to turn the car the opposite way, not hit anything and head the other way up the car park. So we might use a big wide turn if we've got to go around something, we might steer more and use a sharper turn if we've got to turn before something. Okay. It doesn't really matter at this point. The key is when to start straightening and that's the thing that I'd like to concentrate on most. Mm -hmm. Good. Um, do you feel as though you can get the car off and moving? Super. I'm going to do something a little different because we're downhill this time. Do I change my mirror? Why? Because I can't see the things anymore. Right, so your seating position is slightly relaxed and changed. Of course you can move the mirror. Yeah. But then will it affect it once I start going uphill? Because no. we're going downhill it actually, it actually doesn't. Can you see the top and bottom of the back window? I can't see the bottom. Okay, so it needs to move down. You just probably were sitting a little bit raised and elevated beforehand. Is that okay? Yeah. No problem. And the side mirror is okay. See the top end of the car park? Not that way. See behind us at the top end of the car park? Yeah. Both sides? Mm -hmm. So we're okay. We're going to do something a little bit different. We've been used to setting the gas and finding a bike to move away. Yeah. Haven't we? Yeah. Okay. And that's when we've had a little bit of a slope uphill. So we've got a little bit of drive going forward to ensure that we are going to go forward. This time we're downhill, so we're actually going to do something a little bit different. We're going to get the car into gear, we're going to do a check around, and then we're just going to squeeze a little bit of gas, and then feed the power in to get the car going. Okay. Make sense? Yeah, feed the gas in there. So do you so, still press on the clutch fully down and then feed it up? Yes, fully down, into gear, and then we'll squeeze the gas a little, and then lift the clutch about to the midway point, which is around with the biting point, and then it should be nice and slow. Okay. Alright? So, clutch down, I'll talk you through it, so you know what we're talking about. Into which gear? First. Go for it without looking. So clutch to the floor. Yeah. Hold on. Excellent. Hold the handbrake so we're ready to go. There's your handbrake. That's how I find That's my okay. feet. So, are your feet near the gas pedal? Yeah, yeah, over it? All good. So, we're now going to do a little check around, first of all. Is there anyone? around that's an issue. That side? No? What about my side? We good? Yeah, we're good. What about Sean? Sean's coming through. Sean. Is it clear after him? Let's check again to make sure there's nothing that's changed. Are we good? Happy? Yes. The woman and the dog's fine. Release your handbrake. Lift. Lift before button. Lift hard. Button. Good. Now, squeeze a little bit of gas and start feeding the power in. Not too much gas. Relax. Start lifting the clutch. To the bike. Lift, 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 lift. There you go, you've got to go in. Lift fully on. Good. Now we're going to take a nice wide course round that grey car, so we're not going to steer enough Should so I we put go any more speed it. on them, No, I think you're alright for now. Alright, so that's fine, isn't it? We don't want to go more and closer to this one, so that stays actually taking us a little close, take a little bit off there. And then we're going to look up this way and go around this post and oh, tighten it up a little bit. No, he's okay. So steer around a little bit more now. Now we're going to try and point towards the football ground and straighten up to that. So start steering right now, 
so we end up in between the lines. That was pretty good, well done. Squeeze your gas a little bit more uphill and just keep straight. Aim at that AJ T van. Good, try not to look at one line to the other because you are and you're zigzagging a bit. Try and just aim where the car wants to point. That was good. Well Should done. I stop before that far? No, we're not going to stop. We're going to carry on. Okay. okay, so don't worry about it. Just check your mirror. Come off the gas. And what we're actually going to do is head around to the left hand side again. So, now we get go your hands one on the other and look where you want to go. That's fine. No more steer. That's fine. We're heading down now. Oh, there's a car there. Forget that. Just look okay. down the car park and head down and try and straighten up to one of the road sections in the base. Just start steering there. Yeah, good. Good, pretty good. Just work both of the hands though. Do you understand? Yeah, yeah. Now, excuse me, just having a nosy on, which is the easiest way to go. I think we're going to head uh, down a little bit more. Can I press any more speed? You can squeeze your gas a little bit now, yeah, we're good. Go on, squeeze your gas a little bit. That's straight. Just look up further because you look down and you sort of like vary your position. Come off the gas again. And we're actually going to head around to the right. So I'm looking this mirror and this mirror first. Okay. And have a look over your right shoulder as well. We good? Yeah. Go on, move your hands around that way. Look towards where you want to go, not where you want to point. Are your hands loose? Yeah. Now look up to the top of the car park and straighten up to one of the bay lines again. We've gone past it. Do you understand? Yeah. yeah. I'm going to show you why that happens. We're going to keep to the right of the seagull so we can uh, keep, <laughs> keep having this kip. Just head straight now up the car park. Squeeze your gas a little bit more up the hill. Come on, squeeze a little bit more. Squeeze a bit more. Squeeze a bit more. Squeeze a bit more. Come on, squeeze, 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 squeeze. A bit more, a bit more, a bit more. That's good. Now we're going to stop, so check. Come off the gas. Use your brake lightly. Stay straight. Listen, when do we press the clutch? No. Clutch down. Fully. And then brake and stop. No. Brake and stop. Feet still. Now what do we do? Into. Not yet. Not yet. And brake on. When, how do you use this button then? Button in. When do you Back let go of the pressure? Way. Nice, let go of your thumb. Good. Hand now way. neutral. Now relax your feet. Well done. Good. I I go on. How I couldn't get all the way down because of something you Ah, right, interesting. Your foot's too high. Okay. Your foot is above the pedal, so I'm going to touch my phone. But this is your pedal. And your foot here with it. Okay. So actually, when you press it down, this bit hits the bulkhead rather than pressing this pedal to the floor. Your ball of your foot should be on the pedal. Okay. So you can then extend it and push it all the way down. Okay. That's Does what, that make sense? Yeah. The first lesson you said about your shoes. Good. Super. All right. Now turn your car off just a little second. Press the start button. We haven't finished just yet. I just want to show you something. Um, might not need my iPad. I'm just going to sort of show you with now the phones are well, now with cars off. I'm going to show you with my phone. So as we're driving round, we've done a U-turn round this way, and we're trying to point back up that way. That's what we've been trying to do. So this straightening up is the key to what we're trying to concentrate on at the moment. And people often think that as they're coming round this corner, they get straight and then start straightening. But that's no good because our wheels at that point are still faced that way okay. and that way. And that's why you came round the corner before and we went round and then we were past where we needed to be before we got straight. Do you understand? So, as we're coming round a corner and a bend, we're going to wait till we're nearly round and, and probably start straightening slowly here. And there's a couple of different things that you need to be able to do to be able to sort this correctly. If you've straightened late, you fix it by steering faster. So how do your hands need to grip the wheel if you want to move them further looser? If you're starting straightening early, if you straighten too quickly, you'll end up pointing there. So you actually then slow it down to straighten. So it's not just when you straighten, it's how you do it as well. That's the key. So remember, if you've left your straightening late, you need to steer Faster. quicker. 
if you've started your straightening too early you then need to do it slower or actually squeeze your gas a little bit more and go a little faster so you do actually it sounds a bit mad but you do actually straighten up and sort of steering out with your feet as well it's a bit messed up don't worry too much this is quite in depth don't worry too much about the gas as, as of yet what I would like to do is just work out um, start straightening before you get to straight okay. the other key is when we're coming round here is looking towards where we're going to go if we're heading up this car park and we see this uh, nice blue car in front of us that's where we'd like to straighten up to not looking like you just did there and down you instantly then when I was talking about it looked at both left and right lines to see where you were okay. and that's the thing that will mess you up okay your eyes need to lift up and out let your hands loosen and relax and then straighten up accordingly should we try it yeah good well done nice job so the car is off um, how do we start it again? Before you press that, do you need to press any pedal? Clutch. Good, go for it. Straight down. Toe on the pedal. That's it. Is that a bit better? Good. Press your start button. Nice job. And we're going to have a little go at moving. Um, either side looks pretty good, doesn't it? It doesn't really matter at the minute. All right, we'll just assess it as we go. So get prepared. Are we able to do what we did last time about just taking a handbrake off and then working the feet here? Pardon? Are we able to do what we did last time, starting off just taking a handbrake off and then working a feet to move off, or do we need to do a hill start? Hill start. Definitely. So what do we do to do a hill start? Pour gas. Gas first. Into first gear. Well done. So you need a little bit more gas. Well done. Keep the gas set, hold the wheel and your handbrake so you're ready to do it. Okay, now how do you get the correct amount of bike? Don't take your handbrake off yet. Bike. Is that it? Feet still? No. no. So you've let the gas drop. You can't let the gas drop. Clutch down to the floor. Keep the gas set, keep it still and steady. Then find the bike. You there? There little too much just push it back a little bit but lift it so it just rocks too much got to move it smaller amounts Aaron. okay better hold the handbrake feet still now do your prep and check we good is risk zero yes yeah good off we go release your handbrake Nice job, lift the clutch a tiniest little bit, keep the gas just squeezed and then head around to the left when we start to move, so lift the clutch a little bit more, that's a bit too much, stay around to the left, okay clutch all the way up, so you lifted it too quick again, alright, that's alright, now hold the wheel there, look down the car park towards the lamp post and we're going to straighten up towards that lamp post or just to the side of it, so start straightening slowly now, slowly and then finish straight. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. So we're going to try and go towards one of these lines of bays, as I call them. They're like a mini road section. You're steering away, you don't need to. Stay in the middle and look up. Yeah, try not to drift side to side. Why am I drifting? Because you're looking down at those lines. Come off the gas. Good. Let it get to idle. Use your brake a little bit to get it to idle. Just a little bit. And then we're going to check this side. Come off all the pedals and steer around to the left. Look this way. Both hands relaxed. Doing well. Hold there. Now, look up the car park and pick a car, the blue one. Straighten up to the blue one. Start taking a little bit off. A little bit, that'll do. A little bit more. Hold. Look at the blue car. Blue car in front of us, straighten up to it, straighten fully. Done. Don't grab Erin. Yeah, did you see it? Your hands grab. And when they grab, you didn't move them. Squeeze your gas a little bit. That was loads better though. Well done. Squeeze your gas a little bit. Go on, squeeze. Stay straight with it. You look down at the lines and drift because of these angles of the lines. Look up, get your eyes out. Good, well done. So, check this mirror and this mirror to make sure it's yeah. clear to go left again and off the gas. Good, head around. That'll do with the steer, we're going around quite nicely. Good, have a little look across where you want to go. A little look up and round, make sure it's all good. Now, go to the bay uh, next to the lamppost, a bit more. Now start straightening now, steer quicker. 
and then straighten up. Do you understand? You've got to change the speed of your steering. Yeah. Yeah. Squeeze your gas a little bit. Nice job. We're drifting again, Aaron. Look up. I am. I'm looking Look up. further up. But you're going towards this line. Less gas. Use your brake a little. Now you're going towards that line. Off the pedals. Check your mirrors this side. Are we good to go? Go on, round we go to the left then. Move both hands, you grab it, come on, work both of them, one and the other. Better. Now, look at the space where you want to point. Straighten up in the middle of the road section. Just this road section. If you want to go to the blue one, that's fine. Good. Squeeze your gas a little bit. Look at the blue car. Look at the blue car. Aim at the blue car. Blue car, blue car. Did well. Squeeze your gas a little bit. Well done, you're getting better. Come on, squeeze your gas. Now, we don't want to go away from my line and towards yours. And we don't want to go towards my line and away from yours. We just want to stay. Keep looking up. Small movements of the hands. Keep going. Well done. We're going to head to the right this time. So, which mirrors to check? It's clear this side. Yeah, this one and that one. Are we good to stay your side? Yeah. Look, look over your shoulder as well. That's good. Move it around. Now, straighten up to the end. Start moving now. You didn't do it soon enough. Okay. See where I'm coming from? Mm -hmm. It's because you were looking where the car was pointing rather than where you were going. So point at that grey car. Your hands need to loosen a bit more, all right? You've got to get them working around the wheel. So what we're actually going to do, we're going to try a right turn again, get you looking out the right window. We're heading away from this grey one. You don't need to. Stay straight for now. Just check your middle and right mirrors. Good. We're good to go that way? Mm -hmm. Go on. Steer around. Look where you're going. You're looking. Yeah, that's better. Look over there. Now look up towards the blue card again. Straighten up now, slowly. Hands move, they're gripping, they're gripping. Do you understand, they grabbed. Mm -hmm. And it's all because you're grabbing. Okay. You have to work both of them to do that, rather than holding. So when you hold, it goes wrong. See where I'm coming from? Good, let's see where we can get this sorted. Good, squeeze your gas a little bit more now. Come, squeeze your gas a bit more, a bit more, a bit more. Now check and slow down again. And we'll head round to the right again, Aaron. All clear? Mm -hmm. Kind of round we go. Now, hold the wheel there. Now, look down towards the white trailer. Start taking a little bit off. Start moving the hands left slowly. Both of them. Both of them. Better. Now we're heading across this way. Stop looking down. Try and aim where you want to aim by looking far. That was a better straightening up, though. All right. Squeeze your gas a little bit more again. Good job. Come, squeeze a little bit more. Now, come off the gas again. A little look around to the left hand side this time. Is it safe for this side, mm -hmm. do you think? Don't turn yet. Go a little slower first. Get it to idle. Check again. Mm -hmm. Shoulder behind me. Stay, you stay. Come, where should we be looking? Now, try and point up without going the other way. Start straightening now slowly. Try not to grip, Aaron. Better. Squeeze your gas. Good, you did a good job. Well done. Squeeze your gas up the hill matter that we're not perfectly in the middle you get the idea you're not overshooting it now and then then having to come back and it's about this grip isn't it would you say yeah, yeah? Mm -hmm. big time well done good so which side are we going to head this time left what do you do to ensure it's clear check 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 we good to go mm -hmm. good now that'll do with the steer don't do too much we're going to do a big wide turn because there's less to actually straighten up with good still good aren't we so leave the wheel like that and just head down. Try and straighten at that learner car. Leave, no more steer. No, it's coming round nicely. Leave it. Leave it. Bring it a little tighter now. And then straighten up to this road section. Good. Hands move. Well done. Try not to look down to do it. Try and look up to do it. I'm trying to get you to focus okay. nice and far. All right. Squeeze your gas a little bit now. Is that your tummy? No. No? I thought you were hungry. Come off the gas. Check your mirror and slow it down to idle again. And then we're gonna head to the right this time. Is it clear to do this right steer? We good? Yeah. Nice job. Well done, you're getting better. Now, that'll do. A little bit of gas up the hill and try and straighten to point straight. Start doing it now. Now, now, now you left it. You grabbed. Yeah. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. Squeeze your gas a little bit more. You've got to loosen your grip and start working your hands. You've got to change how you straighten up to suit where you would like to point. Mm -hmm. All right. Good. I think we'll try the right because that's the bit that you're struggling with a bit, isn't it? Yeah. So, anyone this side? No. Go on. Up. On we go. 
good, you get it though. Now, down towards the middle road section. Start taking it off now. It's too much. It's too much because we've gone over this this way too much. So you had to start doing it slower, but still at that time. Make sense? Squeeze your gas a little bit more. So you can see that there's a big link. Why is your chin coming up? <laughs> and you're looking at these blasted lines aren't you aren't you yeah why where do you want to point down the bottom so look down the bottom okay good two hands on the wheel now we're gonna have another little go at a steer to the right so check it out Not bad, even. check it out stop staring at the van look to your right and steer look to your right and steer good off we go that'll do with the steering now point straight up the car park not yet no 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 look up the car park far start straight in there hands quicker hands quicker you grabbed a little bit again you're holding too much See where I'm coming from? Try and loosen it up a little bit. Squeeze your gas a little bit. Go on, squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. We're gonna have one more little go. That's improved massively, well done. So, about the uh, safe right turn, is it safe to do it? Yeah. Good to go, go on then. Excellent, now, off the gas, and just straight down this road section. Stay back, you're held again. Yeah, you're not looking far enough, Erin. You're looking down at the front of the car where it points, rather than getting your eyes as far as they can as you come out of the corner. And it's only because you're staring at the floor that it's causing the problems. Make sense? Hands must be loose, and you've got to look far, but don't take them off the wheel. All right, we're going to head to the right again. So, anyone behind and to your right? Right shoulder? No. Around we go to the right. That'll do. Leave the steer like that. Good. Now. Keep your eyes focused, one side of the lamp post to the other. Start steering, start steering. Good. Too much though. You've got to look up to where you want to point. And you should really be focusing at the back of the four wheel drive van. Yeah? Gas, go. Come on, squeeze it a bit more. Squeeze it a bit more. You're getting it though, aren't you? Good. Now we're going to have a little go to the right again. So what should we be doing? There, there. Don't forget your shoulder check as well. That'll do with the steering. Now, let's take a little bit off because we're going to go in the middle road section, this wider bit, the wider bit, and the wider bit, take a little bit more off. More, more, more. Better, but you still went to grip a little, but it was better, wasn't it? Squeeze your gas. I'm going to give you two little goes at it, and then we're done. All right? So, anyone behind us, Aaron? No. Use your brake a little bit, and then don't forget to check your blind spot before you move. Now, come off the pedals. To the right? Yes, please. Good job. Nice work. Now look up the car park. Which side of the lamppost are you going to stay? This side. Leave it for longer then. Then straighten a little bit. Yeah, good. Well done. Better. Oh. Relax your grip. Smaller, smoother movements rather than jumpy. Yeah? Squeeze your gas a little bit there. We're fine. Come on. Squeeze your gas. When we come round, we're going to go down the middle road section, the wider part. All right, stay straight, try not to drift and look down. Keep your eyes up, keep the gas going. Now, who's behind us and to your right side? Last one, let's finish off with a good one. We're good to go? Mm -hmm. Got it. Have a look, we're trying to stay in this middle road section, so a bit more. Now slow, and then start steering back now. Look down to the road at the end. Look down to the road at the end. Better. Did you notice as soon as you did? You fixed it. Squeeze your gas a little bit and just stay straight and you can have a little go at a stop when you want. Anyone behind a problem? Use your brake a little then and remember listen. When do you press the clutch? Listen. Cover it. No. Clutch down. Feel it go faster. Keep braking. Keep braking. Feet still. And then you've got a couple of things to do. Nope. Put that back in gear. Which one first? Brake. Good. Go on up. Did well. Nice. <laughs> nice. Relax. Turn your car off a little second there. There's a big sigh. Well done. All right. I have to push you a bit, unfortunately. But how do you feel as though you've progressed with that steering today? I don't know. You don't know? Don't you feel you've improved? Yeah. Do you understand what you should be doing? <laughs> yeah. Okay. That's good. Understanding is really important. Performance and doing it is less so important. Okay, it's all about learning. 
We haven't bothered with any gear changes today, literally because um, we've prioritised and sorted the steering. We're not totally finished with it yet, would you say? No. no. What problems are you having with it, do you think? Not looking. Not looking. Where do you tend to look? Downwards. Downwards and where the car points, rather than where you would like to go. go. Okay, so that's massively important. Um, is there anything with the pressure that you're tending to, to, have, to have issues with? Hand pressure? What do you tend to do with it? The handbrake. Uh -huh. I'm gripping it. You're gripping the wheel a bit too much, aren't you? Uh -huh. Okay. Um, why do you think that happens? Why do you think that goes on? I think that's... Nerves. Nerves. It is. Exactly. And then all that people then do is then grip the wheel a little bit too much and then they can't straighten up how they need to and then they get more nervous of it. So it's sort of like a little bit of a snowball effect. So would you say that we're in the correct environment today well, the car park's been pretty busy. You imagine if we tried to do that on the road? Yeah. Yeah? How would your nerves have been if there were other moving cars about all the time? A lot worse. A lot worse, all right. So that was really good. Um, would you say that there's still stuff that we need to work on with that steering? Mm -hmm. Okay. How do you feel as though you can maybe adapt and get better and improve in between now and next lesson? What could you do? Videos. Mm -hmm. Watch a video or two. Okay. Um, but honestly, that was really good. Last little thing as well. Starting off, do you notice the difference between the hill starts and not hill starts? You put more gas and it's a hill start. Well, you need the bite first before it's a hill start. If we were moving off down here, we could literally just do the check, release, and then work our feet, couldn't we? Yeah. Yeah, good. But a hill start, you have to have the gas and the bite before you release. Good. How do you tell the perfect amount of bite? How were we doing that? Well, I just like, can feel it and you can hear it. Feel it and hear it. Very good. Well done. Okay. If you have too much bite, what's going to happen? It's going to go forward. It's going to surge too much, isn't yeah. it? All right. So that's an important skill as well. Do you think as well, even over the last little bit, that we've got to move your feet smaller amounts? Do you think you've worked out that you have to move your feet tiny little squeezes and pressures rather than a lift or a pull? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's another important part to it. Um, perfect, what do you think we should be doing next time? Do you think that's put to bed? Do you think the steering's finished and sorted? Or do you think, no? Okay, you feel as though we should come back here next time? Totally fine. And we'll uh, try and get some gear changing done as well. All right, mm -hmm. excellent, we're done. Should we get swapped? Yeah. Is your car off? Yeah. Good. What do you need to do to help us get out? Unlock it. Go for it. Well done, Aaron.